I use the Elgato Stream Deck constantly for my streams and video editing. If you want to pick one up from my amazing sponsor, Elgato, head to the link down in the description below. Greetings, Spooky fans! Michael here, and a little while ago, I made a video called 15 Pokemon Moves that you have never heard of. The video, as the title suggests, went over several Pokemon attacks that were for some reason very obscure, and therefore only a small minority of people had heard of before. That video was very well received, and it got me thinking about some other intricacies of the Pokemon main series games that many people are not entirely familiar with. And one of those is abilities. As of right now, there are 234 different abilities in the main series Pokemon games, excluding any new abilities that will be in Sword and Shield, like Cotton Down. And since there's so many of them, there's a very good chance that there are some Pokemon abilities out there that you have never heard of. There were certainly several that I had never heard of before making this video. So don't forget to leave a like on the video and let's get started with 15 Pokemon abilities that you have probably never heard of. Number one is Aroma Veil. Aroma Veil is an ability introduced in Generation 6 and it protects the Pokemon with Aroma Veil and its allies from anything that might limit their move choices. In other words, Aroma Veil prevents any Pokemon on that side of the field from being affected by Taunt, Torment, Disable, Encore, Cursed Body, Heal Block, Infatuation, and probably some other things that I missed. The reason you have probably never heard of Aroma Veil is that only two Pokemon have it, Spritzy and Aromatisse. Not only that, but it is their hidden ability, which, as many of you know, is an ability that Pokemon can only have when they are obtained under very special, specific circumstances like in the Friend Safari from SOS Battles or years ago from the Dream World. An ability that is only utilized by one evolutionary line and is their hidden ability is going to end up as an ability that not many people have heard of. Number two is Battery. Battery is an ability introduced in Generation 7 and it raises the power of allies special attacks by 30%. The only Pokemon that can have this ability is Chargebug, not Grubbin, not Vikavolt, only Chargebug. It's also an ability that is only utilized in double battles. Plus, it's not one that pops up on screen when it activates like Mold Breaker or Intimidate. So clearly it's an ability that isn't going to show up very often. And I should know because I used a Vikavolt on my team in my first playthrough of Sun version, meaning I had a Chargebug in my party for a very extended period of time since you can't evolve Chargebug into Vikavolt until late game in Sun and Moon. Yet despite that, I had never heard of Battery before writing the script for this video. Clearly it's something that just you don't ever see because people don't use Chargebug, they use Vikavolt. Number three is Cacophony. And of all the abilities on this list, Cacophony is probably the one that the fewest of you have heard of before. The reason for that is that not a single Pokemon has ever had it. Cacophony is an ability that was in the game code for the Generation 3 games, yet was never given to any Pokemon. It was subsequently removed from all the games past Gen 3, so the only way we know about it is people data mining the Gen 3 games. Cacophony's effect is identical to Soundproof. It makes the Pokemon with Cacophony immune to any sound-based moves, like Growl or Grass Whistle or Heal Bell and so forth. I find it strange that they coded in this ability but then never ended up giving it to any Pokemon. At least, not in the main series games because it has appeared elsewhere in the Pokemon franchise. Cacophony was mentioned on a Japanese language Exploud card in the Diamond and Pearl Great Encounters TCG expansion, which seems to imply that Cacophony was originally intended to be given to at least one member of the Wismer line. Now, if you're thinking they removed Cacophony because it does the exact same thing as Soundproof, well, that's not a good enough reason. There's plenty of abilities out there that do the exact same thing as another ability with a different name, like Vital Spirit and Insomnia, or Cloud9 and Airlock, or even Wimp Out and Emergency Exit, two abilities that do the exact same thing with two different names for two Pokemon in the same evolutionary line. They could have given Soundproof to Wismer and then maybe Cacophony to Loudred and Exploud. I guess we'll never know exactly why Cacophony was removed, but the fact that it was removed and no Pokemon in the main series games has ever had it means that very few people have ever heard of it. 
<laughs> heard of it. Oh, that's kind of funny. Pun actually was not intended, which is weird. My puns are almost always intended. Number four is Flare Boost. Flare Boost is an ability introduced in Generation 5. If a Pokemon with Flare Boost is burned, it causes the power of their special attacks to increase by 50%. The only Pokemon that have this ability are Drifloon and Drifblim, and it is their hidden ability. I actually only discovered the existence of this ability relatively recently. I am currently in the middle of a playthrough of Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark on my Twitch. It's a Pokemon fan game featuring only fake Pokemon and also a lot of new abilities and new moves that the devs of the game added that are not in the main series games. During my playthrough, I encountered this blimp-like Pokemon called Irim and was looking it up on the game's wiki to learn more about it. I saw that one of its abilities was Flare Boost, an ability that I had never seen before and therefore assumed it was one of the new abilities that the developers of Solar Light and Lunar Dark had created. However, when I tried to search Flare Boost up on the game's wiki, I got no results, which I thought was really strange since they had created wiki pages for every other new ability that they had added to the games. And that was how I learned that Flare Boost was actually a main series official Pokemon ability. I have literally never heard of this ability. That's a real ability? Flare Boost is a real ability. I might need to make 10 abilities you've never heard of. What? But not only was it actually official, it's been around since Generation 5? How did I miss this? Actually, I take that back. It's not very hard to see why this ability is extremely obscure. It's only on one evolutionary line, and it's their hidden ability on top of that. And the only time an ability in that situation would get a lot of publicity would be if it was a good ability on a good Pokemon, like Multiscale on Dragonite, for example. However, since it's a mediocre ability at best and Driftblim isn't very strong, Flare Boost ends up never showing up. Number five is Galvanize. I am extremely confident that you have heard of the eight abilities before. Those abilities that take normal type attacks and turn them into a different type of attack and add a power boost. You know, pixelate, refrigerate, and aerolate. But what you may not have known is that there is actually a fourth one that isn't an eight, it's an eyes. And before you say anything, I am not talking about the ability that Skitty and Delcatty have had since Gen 4 called Normalize, which turns all of their moves into normal type moves and adds a power boost. Normalize doesn't fit in with the other abilities I'm discussing since it affects all of the Pokemon's moves rather than just the ones that were already normal type. The eyes ability that fits in with the eight abilities is Galvanize, which turns all of a Pokemon's normal type moves into electric type moves and gives them a 20% power boost. It was introduced in Generation 7. The ability sounds great on paper, just like Pixelate, Aerolate, and Refrigerate do, but the reason many people haven't heard of it is that very few Pokemon have it. Only Alolan Geodude, Graveler, and Golem can have Galvanize as a potential ability. And surprise, it's only available as their hidden ability. If Alolan Golem was some impressive competitive threat, then maybe more people would have heard of Galvanize, but since Alolan Golem is not that imposing, Galvanize ends up fading into obscurity. Number six is Grass Pelt. Grass Pelt is an ability introduced in Generation 6 that boosts the defense of a Pokemon with Grass Pelt by 50% when grassy terrain is active. This ability is in a similar situation to other abilities that we've discussed so far. It's a mediocre ability on only one fully evolved Pokemon that is also mediocre. Grass Pelt is the hidden ability of Skiddo and Gogoat, which, as I mentioned, are pretty mediocre in the battling department. Not only that, but Skiddo has been unavailable in any main series game since X and Y. Therefore, the only way to get a Grass Pelt Skiddo is to catch a Grass Pelt Gogoat in the Friend Safari and then breed it. When you have to put in that much work to get an ability that isn't that great, you're simply never gonna see it. Number seven is Liquid Voice. Liquid Voice is an ability introduced in Generation 7 that causes all of the Pokemon's sound-based moves to turn into water-type moves. It is the signature ability and hidden ability of the Primarina evolutionary line, which 
based on the ability's name and description, probably doesn't surprise you. I will admit that of all the abilities on this list, this one and the next one are probably the ones that you're most likely to have heard of before, since they are abilities for starters. However, I still think there's a pretty good chance that you haven't heard of it due to the difficulty of obtaining it. As of right now, the only way to get a liquid voice poplio is by breeding one from a parent that already had liquid voice. That is because the window of opportunity to get a liquid voice Primarina has already passed. From March 8th to October 31st of last year, 2018, the Alola starters with their hidden abilities were distributed via an event in Pokemon Bank. If you didn't get one before that event ended, the only way for you to get one now is by hacking or trading. Since it is so difficult to obtain and not a blow your socks off amazing ability, there's a very good chance you've never seen it and therefore never heard of it. Number eight is Long Reach. And I will be brief on this entry since its situation is virtually identical to the previous entry. Long Reach is an ability introduced in generation seven and it makes it so the Pokemon's moves that would normally make contact do not make contact. This comes in handy against Pokemon who have abilities that are triggered by contact, like Flame Body or Iron Barbs. It is the hidden ability and signature ability of Decidueye and its pre-evolutions. So like with Liquid Voice, the window of opportunity to obtain this ability without hacking or trading has already passed. Therefore, you're very unlikely to encounter it. Number nine is Pickpocket. Pickpocket is an ability introduced in generation five, and it can only function if the Pokemon with Pickpocket is not holding an item. If the Pickpocket Pokemon is attacked by a Pokemon that is holding an item and the attack makes contact, the Pickpocket Pokemon will steal the held item of the attacking Pokemon. Now, unlike previous entries on this list, this ability can be found on multiple different evolutionary lines, being the hidden ability for the Sneasel line, the C-Dot line, and the Binacle line. However, despite that, I still had never heard of it prior to writing the script for this video, so that's why I included it. I guess its situational usefulness and status as a hidden ability, exclusive ability, downgraded it into obscurity for me. Number 10 is Power of Alchemy. And yes, that is a real name for a Pokemon ability. Power of Alchemy is an ability introduced in Generation 7. When an ally of the Pokemon with Power of Alchemy faints, Power of Alchemy is then replaced by the ability of that fainted Pokemon. So it actually does the exact same thing as Receiver, the signature ability of Passimian. And of course, it doesn't work on those abilities that only function for certain specific species of Pokemon, like Forecast, Disguise, Battle Bond, etc. The only Pokemon who can have Power of Alchemy as their ability are Alolan Grimer and Alolan Muck, and it is their hidden ability. Obviously, such a very new ability that is difficult to find is going to end up being pretty obscure. But not only is it hard to find, it's just not very good. Alolan Muck is a strong, useful Pokemon, but its other abilities, Poison Touch and Gluttony, are simply better. Number 11 is Soul Heart. It was introduced in Generation 7, and it boosts the Pokemon's special attack by one stage anytime another Pokemon faints while it's on the battlefield, whether it's an ally or an enemy. Soul Heart is the only ability for the mythical Pokemon Magearna, and that's the reason why it's obscure. Not only is it on a very new Pokemon, but it's also on a mythical Pokemon. Mythical Pokemon are difficult to obtain, and oftentimes, even once you have one, it just ends up sitting in your PC box doing nothing. Maybe you're familiar with Soul Heart if you use Magearna in competitive battling, but outside of that context, there's a pretty good chance you've never heard of it. Number 12 is Stall. This is a weird one for me. I had never heard of Stall prior to writing the script for this video. Yet it's been around since generation four. I just somehow missed it. Stall causes the Pokemon to move last in its priority bracket pretty much no matter what, even if Trick Room is in effect. The only Pokemon that can have Stall as its ability is Sableye, and it has it as one of its two regular abilities. I understand why I and probably you have never heard of Stall before. It's only on one singular Pokemon with very little battling use prior to it getting a mega evolution, and the ability itself is not a good one. I cannot think of any scenario where you would want to move last 
every single turn, no matter what. Even so, I was surprised that I hadn't heard of it. Generation 4 came out a really long time ago, and I guess I expected only to be ignorant of newer abilities. Although, I guess if you try as hard as Stahl did to be obscure and bad, then even massive Pokemon nerds like me are gonna miss it. Number 13 is Symbiosis. It was introduced in Generation 6 and only applies when a Pokemon with Symbiosis is holding an item. If one of its allies consumes an item, the Pokemon with Symbiosis will pass its held item onto the Pokemon that consumed the item. This does not apply when an item is transferred to another Pokemon like when Thief is used, when it's destroyed by Incinerate, or when it's knocked off by knockoff. Like many abilities on this list, Symbiosis only comes into play in double or triple battles. Therefore, it is more likely to be obscure since double and triple battles are far less common than single battles. Additionally, it's another ability that is only found as a hidden ability and it's only found on a small handful of Pokemon those being the Florgis Evolutionary Line and Oranguru. Clearly all these factors are going to make it very obscure and therefore few have heard of it. Number 14 is Toxic Boost. This is an ability introduced in Generation 5. When the Pokemon with Toxic Boost is afflicted with poison, it gives a 50% power boost to its physical attacks. It is very clearly similar to Flare Boost, hence why the names are very similar. But they are not just similar in effect and activation circumstances, they are also similar in obscurity. Like Flare Boost, Toxic Boost can only be found as a hidden ability on one fully evolved Pokemon, that Pokemon being Zangoose. Toxic Boost doesn't seem like the worst ability in the world, but it's definitely not amazing and also is only found on one singular Pokemon that isn't very strong. So when all those factors combine, it's gonna end up being pretty obscure. It was definitely obscure for me. I didn't know about it prior to filming this video. And finally, number 15 is Wonder Skin, another ability that I had not heard of prior to writing this video. It was introduced in generation five and makes enemy status moves far more likely to miss. More specifically, it makes it so any status moves used against the Pokemon with Wonder Skin have their accuracy dropped to only 50%. Wonder Skin can be found on Venomoth, Skitty, Delcaddy, Sigilyph, and Bruxish. It is the hidden ability for all of those Pokemon except Sigilyph. I think the main reason that this ability is not very well known is that pretty much all of the Pokemon that can have it have at least one other ability that is a lot better. Plus, the Pokemon that can have Wonder Skin aren't that amazing to begin with, so those two factors combined together means that it doesn't end up used very often. Also, its name is very similar to Wonder Guard, which is a pretty famous ability, the ability of Shedinja. So it's very possible that I was scrolling through a list of abilities a long time ago and saw them right next to each other in the alphabetical order and just my brain just combined them together and I only saw Wonder Guard. So there we have it. Those are 15 abilities that you have probably never heard of. Let me know down in the comments below how many were new to you. And if you liked this video and wanna see some more of my fun Pokemon content, I recommend this video here. All right, that's all I have for now. So till next time, give hands. Gotta catch them all.